Oh, damn it. Wow, you showed no mercy. That's our kanji. You may proceed to the next stage. Shut up for a sec. Looks like you can take one hell of a pounding. Surprised you can still get up. Sheesh. You had to go on and on, rubbing salt in my wounds. Huh? When did I do anything like that? You playing dumb with me? No, no, no. Calm down, Kanji-kun. You got one scary look in your eyes. It's too much for an average Joe like me. What? You started dissing me out of nowhere, too. It was horrible. What? I didn't diss you at all. You're the one who's bad-mouthing me. I didn't do that. Well, I didn't do it either. Huh? There's something weird here. I can't put my finger on it. Looks like neither of us heard what the other person really said. What's going on? Anyway, forget all that for now. I'm just glad I found you. Found me? You disappeared from your house without saying anything, right? Your mom was looking for you. The timing was funny enough that I thought you might be over here. Me? I disappeared from my house? Come on, this place obviously isn't your house, right? Well, yeah, but that's because it's a dream. The real man's still asleep in my room. What? Man, you really have no idea what's going on, huh? Did you hit your head and lose all your memories when you fell in here? What do you mean, fell in here? The TV, of course. How else would you get here? Uh, wait. So are you saying this isn't my dream? Where did you even get a crazy idea like that? Snap out of it, man. We're inside the TV world right now. Though I've got no idea why it's a school this time. Oh, man. We're in the TV world? And that Ted... That's another mystery. We don't know if he's the real one or not either. Actually, speaking of mysteries, what are you doing here? If you don't remember coming here, did someone drop you in here? Well, uh, I actually don't remember. I was in our living room, dead tired. Like that? What's with you? No, I suddenly understand everything. Huh? We just bought a new TV for the living room. It's this big old flat screen. I fell asleep there and probably tripped or something in the middle of the night. And fell ass over elbows into the TV like one of those Goldberg machine things. Damn, that big screen TV is some scary shit. What kind of moron are you? You fell in because you were half asleep? You scared us half to death, you know. Boy, that was close. If I'd come in here somewhere far away and never met up with you guys, it would have been no joke. Hmm. 
Wait a sec. Senpai, I solved the mystery. Mystery? What mystery? The reason why this world is back? It's my fault. Duh. Jeez. Sorry I caused all this trouble. Huh? What the hell are you talking about? How'd you jump to that conclusion? Don't you see? My shadow did this. Damn it, why didn't I figure it out sooner? I fell in here, which means my shadow must have come out. Just like last year. That guy dressed like Ted must be my shadow taking his shape. Oh, hold it right there. We already went through this once. Don't worry, senpai. I'll give him a real beat down this time and send him packing for good. This is my mess, so let me clean it up. Whoa, calm down. We've got things all wrong. Gotta run. Let's go, senpai! I can't leave this room! Wait up! I said wait, you idiot! Uh, by the way, where should I go now, senpai? Huh? Yosuke Senpai? Where'd he go? Did he use the John? Oh, so he's leaving the rest to me. Looks like I'm right on the money. Whoa, Kanji! It's so good to see you here! Huh? Finally found you. <laughs> Enemy advantage! What the heck? What's going on here? Shut up! Hurry up and get back inside me! Inside you? I don't swing that way! I don't want to be stuck in a sweaty macho hell! Bastard. I've had it up to here with you acting like Ted. The game's up already, you hear me? Kanji-kun, violence is never the answer! Don't get in my way! This is a fight against myself! That makes no sense at all. You need to go on ahead, Miss President. Hurry and run while I hold Kanji back! Looks to me like he's the one holding you. Baby, you gotta hurry! Well, since you seem to know each other... You're right. Sorry to Jet, but I'll take you up on that offer. Uh, 
Huh? You're really leaving? You're the one who told her to go! <laughs> Doesn't matter though, this will be easier if it's just between us. I'll give you one hell of a beating, just like last year. I hope you're ready. I don't remember you giving me anything like that. What did you do without me knowing? Shut up! I'm a knight. I gotta suck it up and deal. I can't lose! I'll take you out in no time. Here goes! Come on, hurry up and show your true self. Don't make me rub you the wrong way. Bullshit. Your imitation of the real Ted is pretty good, but I am sick of it. Hey, that reminds me. Where's that cape and hat of yours? I wanted to see it up close so I could so unlike it. Cape and hat? Kanji, were you mistaking me for that fake Teddy? Huh? What fake Teddy? Think! That other Teddy or the one in front of you. Which is more adorable? What? So that one's a fake and you're the real deal? That's right! I'm hurt, Kanji. I can't believe you couldn't tell us apart just by our fur! Dude, how is that supposed to help? Hey, why didn't you say, just so you know, there's a fake Teddy to begin with? Huh? Did you just shift the blame on me? This is tyranny! Sorry, my bad. Ted, can you sniff out where that General Teddy guy is? He's in the announcement room. I was on my way there with Miss President. That girl back there? Who is she anyway?
She's Miss President. She can't use a persona, so I was protecting her. <gasps> Did Miss President head to the announcement room without her knight? You're the one who told her to go on ahead. K Kanji, you need to hurry to the announcement room. You don't have to tell me twice. That thing's my shadow, after all. Huh? Kanji's shadow? <laughs> Who are you looking for? Huh? I'm right here. Didn't think you'd have the guts to show up. Guess I don't need to waste my time looking for you. I finally found you. Me? 